My name is Jeremy Walton, and this is the review of the Temba Access V2 camera backpack. Let's go! Right now, I'm in Yellowstone National Park. I come here every year, and I love it. And since I got my new Temba camera backpack, I thought, what a perfect time to put it to use. In this video, I'm gonna jump around a lot because I can't do everything on the hike, but since this is my go-to backpack, I wanna talk about some of the differences from the original. Things I like, things I don't like, things that you should consider. I wanna go all in, so let's have a look at this bag in action. The one thing you probably noticed is the color of the bag. It does come in black, but I had to go with camo. All right, I think we got a little roadblock. The other difference is the adjustable straps. Now, if you travel light or do short trips, it may not be that big a deal, but I like to hike. I travel a lot, so it's pretty important. And now we're coming up to the lake. You know what's kind of nice? Being the only ones out here. One thing I like is these straps got moved to the back before they were on this back panel. So when you opened it up, they would get dirty. Now when you open it up, they're clean and you're good to go. It's the little things that make a difference. Just a little tip, if you're hiking in Yellowstone, get some of this bear spray. You never know when you're gonna need it. And trust me, I've almost had to use it. If I didn't say it already, uh, I had to shoot this like multiple times. The weather here has been very unpredictable and every time I tried to film it started raining. Get back to the car, stops raining. Go back out, starts raining again. But hey, the backpack comes with the rain cover, so there you go. You might be wondering why this bag is called Access. It's because of the three ways you can access the bag. The top, the side, and the back as you just saw me do. That's not new, but a few things changed that I thought was important to cover. The top is usually how I access my camera on the go. They eliminated a zippered pocket, which for me is great. Any pocket always ended up getting filled with stuff, which interfered. And this top cover is firmer and more rigid. All good stuff. My setup when traveling is different than when I'm on a shoot. For example, when I'm on a flight, this top access is great for my headphones. The side access used to be something I didn't use, just not my thing. But now they put a zippered pocket there. So if I need a memory card or a battery, this is where I go. The back access is what I use most often. I usually set it down, get what I need and go. But with this camouflage color, just make sure you remember where you put it. For this trip specifically, it sat in the back seat. In Yellowstone, you need to be ready to shoot at any moment. Just like when we saw some movement in the trees and a bear ran across the street. I just reached in the back seat, grabbed my camera, and hit record. Yellowstone is wild. That's one of five bears we saw on the trip. Right now I'm currently in an undisclosed location just so I can show you something. Size will always be a major factor in choosing a camera backpack. Right here is the original and this one is the V2. Both are 24 liter, that's the sweet spot and my personal favorite. The physical size and weight between these two bags is almost identical. We're talking an inch here or there, so nothing to really make that big of a difference. Since I have the original bag here, let me show you what I was talking about earlier. See how these straps are attached to the back panel? That's so when I open it, now they're going to be in the dirt. Unlike on the V2 bag, you can see the straps are actually attached to the bag. I really do love this bag. Okay, enough of that. Temba also moved the location to hold your laptop. This was a good move. It has its own dedicated compartment, which is perfect to fit my 16 inch MacBook Pro. It used to be right here on the back, which made it difficult to access. Besides being out of the way, it's now in the perfect spot. If you have it next to you on a plane, it's easy to remove. And if you have it in the overhead, you just have to unzip it 
and you can remove it without affecting anything else in the bag. I also tried to fit the backpack under the seat in first class on Delta with no luck. Temba doesn't advertise this bag to do that, but I had to give it a try. However, I was able to fit the original Temba Access under the seat in Comfort Plus on Delta. Basically, depending on the airline and what seats you have, it's all a gamble. Traveling also got a little easier for your shoulders. A luggage strap on the back allows you to Velcro it to a rolling case. Whether it's standing in line or not wanting to put my bag on the ground, the strap comes in handy. That's probably all rain. Forgot to mention the twin sternum straps. The top one I use sometimes, the bottom one can be removed if you don't need it. Just depends on what support you need. It's a cold one. Another addition to this bag is a dedicated spot for your air tags. They say hidden, but anyone can look up where it's at. I'd prefer a location that's difficult to get to with some kind of lock. I'm only going to remove my air tags when I have to change the battery. I'm just looking for a deterrent, something that makes stealing this bag a pain. Every option has pros and cons. I mostly use my air tags to track my bags when I fly. The best option is never letting your bag out of your sight. Even in Yellowstone, I never left my bag in the car. Out on our last hike in Yellowstone, which we might have to cut early because we do have some weather rolling in. Oops. I think this is a good time to end this video. If you haven't been to Yellowstone, you need to get here and enjoy this beautiful place, but you need to be prepared, which means a good camera backpack. You know my recommendations, but whatever your needs are, Temba's got you covered. Well, there you have it. My review of the Temba Access V2 camera backpack. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button because there's definitely more in the way. Subscribe so you don't miss out. Leave a comment if you have questions. Until next time, it's a wrap.